Hey guys, Broke Stacker here. In an effort to try to get rid of that black that's going on around our rounds, there, all that black. I want to get that nice uh, copper finish coming out. What I'm going to try to do, and I, after reading lots of reviews and vlogs and all this other stuff, Borax might be the solution. We're going to try it out here. I'm trying to think what I could use to for a scooper. I guess I could use my striker, huh? I don't know how much to put in there or anything like that, but we're going to try it out. I open this guy up. It's got some over the counter, five, six bucks or some uh, borax here. I'm going to pour this in uh, over the trash can so I don't make a mess. So, what we're going to do, how much should I pour in here? I guess this dump the whole thing and hope for the best. I think I got about a, take a look at it. Ooh, yeah, just a, about 40% of a crucible full here. Put some of that in there, hopefully nothing horrible happens. Oh man, that just melted instantly, ooh. That looks like it could uh, spontaneously combust these fumes coming off of here. I'm glad I'm wearing my PPE. Okay, we're gonna leave that be. Look at that, hardened steel. <laughs> My poker. I don't really see any slag coming on this thing. And there's like, like I said, it's pure copper, it's clean. Shouldn't be having any issues like that. that so the black in my molds, in my pores is kind of a mystery. Man, I kind of want to show you guys this, but I, man, that's weird. Uh, the molten copper, I wish I can get a, a video of it for you guys. When I'm talking, I can see the vibrations of my voice affecting the copper. Maybe there's something to that scientifically, uh, but I, I'm just not sure. So we're gonna preheat our mold again. Gotta get the money shot in for you guys here. A little job going on outside too. Ooh, yeah, that is a... Oh, I don't know if anybody saw that. I almost died. That's why you wear PPE. That was an explosive reaction. Maybe my uh, my rod was still a little wet from before. I don't know what that was, but it just shot molten metal everywhere on me. Without any further ado, let's do this, guys. We have our borax and our mix. We're level. We're preheated. Here we go. Okay, that's our first pour of the props. We, uh, again, interesting ripple on it. Hopefully I'm uh, not dumping this out too early. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, we got a little little weird thing going on in there. Uh, just a little better. This is with our borax. Sun's going down. I probably ought to turn on the uh, the lights here in a minute. Kind of a nice uh, pink going on to it. The back looks a lot better now. That's we're getting a little closer to what I'm looking for. So hopefully. With that borax will do it. I just put barely any in it at all, like uh, maybe half a tablespoon at the very most. Hopefully that's going to be the solution for us with the borax. So, going for pour number two now of the four point Celtic knot. Still got a little black, but the the face has that nice uh, pink going on with it. But the back that time was a little worse. Show sure you guys. I don't think I'm gonna have enough in there to do a third. These these this particular mold takes up a lot more. So the second one, first one, our first one did okay uh, eh, on the face. 
but the second one did way better on the face and it was a vice versa on the back the back did really nice on the first but not so good on the on the second i don't know maybe we're, we're not getting up to temperature or what's going on there but maybe uh what we'll do i'll pour some more raw material in there I'll, I'll get that melted down we'll put some even more borax in there like a unconscionable amount maybe uh maybe just most of it burns off anyways maybe it doesn't matter I'm not seeing any slag, so maybe I'm just not using the borax because that was barely any borax and we got that much of a difference out of it. So maybe with the double or triple the amount we put in there before, maybe that's going to be our solution. Pour a lot of borax in this time. Wish you luck. We got our second batch of stuff melted. It melted a lot faster. Look at that. Burned it. Interesting, right? A little bit. Oh. I'll bring a look in there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That is really getting hot. Uh, apparently, I want to let that melt first. Look at it. It looks kind of like... You guys can see that. It kind of almost looks like styrofoam. Yeah, let it melt next time. <laughs> I wanted to do a live tonight, guys. I'm so sorry. So what I'm going to do, like slag, kind of crack it, and see if this, if this is actually slag. No, it's just it's just that little bit of black skin shit again, even with the borax. Number three, extra borax, kind of. And we'll go for it. I'm going to some on my bird. More black. Back to where we were before. I don't know what's going on. We got a little pink now. I think that's the borax. But what is this black? I just don't know. Maybe I should just live with it and clean them up with the uh, the pedestal grinder and sander, whatever, and uh, make them look pretty. Maybe we'll get a Dremel or something. We'll see what I do. Yeah, look at that one, guys. That's pretty, isn't it? I've got a little bit of sunlight coming in here directly, so that's nice sunlight hitting that. I don't know what's going on there. It had a little bubble. Maybe I poured it a little fast. Back looks perfect. That nice copper look to it. That black stuff, whatever it is, it's hard. It's on there. Man, look at that. That's a pretty one. That's number three. Little heavy, a little bubble top. Feeling that? I bet you that's at least five ounces, guys. That's a heavy one. <laughs> Sorry. Not number three. That's number four. Number four. Oh, here we go, guys. Last one for the night. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good sizzle. Yeah, this one came out looking pretty good. This is the butt. Yeah, that looks good. Anybody else see how red hot that thing is? Ah, it's kind of. Yeah, it's even shaking, I guess. Anybody want to let uh, clue me in what I'm doing wrong? I just don't know. I liking this pink though. I, that wasn't there before. I think the borax is helping with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go for one more. See what's left in the mold. Away we go. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I got a whole one out of that. Sometimes you won't be thinking. What's your name? One more, guys. Nice pink. I kind of like what's going on with this one. The whole top's pink. Interesting. Still getting the, the, the black on the back. Nice crinkle on this one. That's cool. It bubbled top, but then in the very top, it kind of sank in and flattened the whole thing out. Interesting, right? That's like my favorite one yet, guys. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's number six of my first ones. I might number these two. One through six, we'll see. 
Maybe we'll do a auction on those, buy it nows. I want to weigh them, stamp them, do all that gig first, but my uh, scale's in the mail. I'm waiting on it. Man, that one came out pretty. All the other ones I've been thinking about grinding down and stuff, but I think I'll leave this guy alone. That one came out pretty. Look at that nice color on there. Sorry I'm not getting the angle just right. I'm looking at it too, guys. It's eye candy for me right now. I cannot believe I got a whole pour out of that. I was just ready for it to be a partial. But I went a little heavy. That's why I got that bubble top. But I don't think there's much left in there now. Trying to make some tacos. Oh yeah, I'm nothing in there, guys. It's just that hot. Again, the very bottom. Maybe I'll start making these a thing. Start selling these because that color is outstanding. I cannot believe how pretty that thing is. It's always that bottom little part, like barely anything, it's just a splash. But man, it comes out pretty every time when I do that last little bit. Got the pure copper at the bottom, right? I don't know. Well guys, uh, look out for my uh, live stream. I'm gonna be doing a live stream here pretty sh shortly. I was supposed to do it today. I uh, apologies, I wasn't able to do it, uh, Yahoo. Uh, Yahoo, uh, YouTube had me jump through another hoop in order to be able to do a live stream. So what, keep an eye out for my next live stream. Like, comment, subscribe, share. When we hit that 100 subscriber mark, we're going to do a giveaway with not, maybe, maybe we'll do one of these two. We'll, we'll, we'll put it to a vote or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll do one of each. Uh, definitely doing the honeybee, number one. Maybe we'll do some buy it at now auction things on this. I, I don't even know how to do it yet. I probably ought to start like a PayPal or something. But anyways, uh, until then, guys, uh, keep stacking and stack them high.